So you've been seshing for a little while and you want to know how to take smoother hits. You've been watching some of my other videos. You learn how to take bigger hits, things like that. But now you want to make your hit smoother. This is actually something I get asked about a ton in my Twitch streams. I get a lot of DMs about it. And there's actually a few things that you can do to make your hit smoother, depending on how you're seshing. There's a few little things that you can do during your sesh to make all of your hits smoother. Now, don't forget to check out my Twitch streams. We go live after 9 Eastern and an update on on the prime genius stream we had about 1420 people subscribe free to my twitch last month with amazon prime so i'm gonna pick a date and take 1420 milligrams and don't forget to support me for free with amazon prime so the first step to making your hit smoother during your sesh is use a clean piece this is actually one of the benefits to people that use papers is every time you roll a new J, you have a fresh piece of paper every time. That's a clean piece every time. But when you're using glass, you do want to have a clean piece. Every hit you take out of a glass piece makes it dirtier and it makes it slightly harsher or less smooth than the previous hit. If you've ever cleaned your piece before, which I'm hoping you have, and you take that first hit out of it, that's the smoothest hit. That's usually the best hit. But one thing that I want to bring up, and I actually see a lot of people do this, and I think it's kind of disgusting. There's too many people that clean their whole piece, their whole down stem, and then they didn't clean their bowl. The bowl that they're using is just coated in resin and they didn't clean it the last time they cleaned their piece. They didn't clean it the time before. And just that one bowl is making all of their hits so much worse. Some people go a little above and beyond and they Q-tip out their bowl between each hit. If I'm doing combustion hits, I'll usually wipe off the inside with like a poker tool. I don't really go heavy with the Q-tips. But if you clean your piece and you don't clean your bowl, you didn't clean your piece. That's like eating off of a clean plate, but you're using a dirty fork you found in the dumpster or something. Clean your bowl. That's literally where all the flavor's coming from. You're lighting your bowl there. If it's nasty and disgusting, if it's coated in resin, you're going to warm up that resin and that's going to be all the flavor you're getting. Nasty, disgusting resin hits. Clean your piece. Clean your bowl. If you're using papers, you get a clean piece every time. Easy. The next one you might not have as much control over, but use good material. The smoothness of your hit in a lot of cases is based on the material that you're using. You got some trashy mids that you found that are really dry. You're not going to get a smooth hit out of it. You got something that's properly cured and decently fresh. You hit that out of a clean piece. It's going to be smooth. There's obviously some better and worse growers out there. Some people are going to use a lot of bottled nutrients and not do a good job flushing them some people are going to grow good clean flowers every time so find the right supplier find who has the good meds who has the good flowers who has the good concentrates you have a good starting material that's going to give you the smoother hits you just go out and get any old poop soup any old dry mids off the plug you might not get the smoothest hit. Another thing to make your hit smoother is good preparation. You want to be hydrated. You don't want to be out of breath when you take a hit. I know I've got a video out there, sip before you rip. That really helps a lot of people to make that hit smoother. But the underlying point there is when you're hydrated, you really don't need the sip. Being slightly dehydrated and adding smoke to that can lower your saliva production. But if you're really genuinely hydrated, you might not even need the sip before you rip. But it definitely helps a lot of people. And don't be out of breath. If you take your hits too close to each other, you don't give your lungs enough time to recover. It's going to make your next hit seem harsher. I've always found that the first hit that I take, the first hit of the day is the harshest or is the most challenging. But that's usually because I haven't smoked in 20 hours. If you've seen my Twitch stream, I try to take my first hit nice and big. I try to do a big old hit. And I find that it makes every hit after that easier. First hit usually hits really hard, makes my eyes water. And we got the old saying, if you ain't crying, you ain't highing. But good preparation for the hit helps. And another thing I have to stress, which is going to help you make your hit smoother, is the bigger the hit that you take, the less smooth it is. So don't go too big. If you truly want like a nice, chill, relaxing, smooth hit, it's not going to be a huge monster hit. I find that bigger hits make me higher. Or they're better for my sesh overall. But there is a point where it's too big. The big hit for you isn't going to be the same size as everybody else's big hit. So you can take a big hit and it can still be smooth, but you don't want to take too big of a hit. If you're just packing more into a flower bowl than you can possibly inhale, that might come off a little bit harsher unless you pull the bowl in time. But if you get used to packing just one hit for yourself, just the exact amount of flour that you need, that hit's going to be smoother and easier than if you overpacked it and had to cut yourself off midway through. 
So don't pack your hits too big. If you're using a glass piece, if you're using like papers or something like that, y'all know the more you pull on it, the hotter it's getting, the harsher the smoke over time. Obviously, you're getting more and more smoke. But you want to take proper size hits for yourself. It's a little bit of trial and error. You're going to go too big sometimes. You're going to go not big enough other times. But you'll figure it out. You'll know about what a hit is for you. So that's something that I found. A lot of people don't know how much they do in one hit because they usually just pack a full bowl and they hit it three, four times. But if they learned how much they do in one hit and they just pack that one hit, it will be much smoother and easier. So a couple closing notes, I think, that'll help you make your hits smoother. It's stuff I've mentioned in other videos before, but sit before your rip is really huge. If you are combusting flour, I would recommend warm water in your piece or faucet hot water. From my experience, it just gives me a much smoother, easier to handle hit overall. And take nice, deep breaths before you hit. You want to prepare your lungs. You can stretch them out a little bit. Get some air in your bloodstream. Get ready for a big hit with some deep breaths. I'm not saying you have to go too big or big with the hit, but if you're ready for a larger hit, it's going to be easier. If you're out of breath and you didn't take deep breaths before and your lungs aren't ready for a lot of smoke, you're going to struggle on the smallest hit and it's not even going to feel smooth at all. Either way, come sesh with me on Twitch after 9 Eastern. We're going to plan that Amazon Prime Genius stream soon i might do it next sunday i gotta think of a date that works and if you got smooth hits down but you want to learn how to take bigger hits check out this video right here i got some nice tips in there to help you get your hits a little bit bigger have a lit day my dudes